Hey guys and girls, welcome back to some Ring Code uh, Master Detective. Where we left off, somehow we're in like a fancy ass apartment. Um, our boat had been exploded. I don't know how we got here, though. Uh, go check out the last part if you want to get um, the full details on what happened. But we're not using the boat no more. It's a fancy ass apartment. Like a uh, penthouse or something. Who's there? Who the Hi there. fuck? Nice to meet you. I sure look suspicious, huh? Chapter two A silent curtain call end. Someone's dream on the street corner. An unrealized ideal is shattered. My like tears flooding the city. No one can be saved this way. Someone whispers. As they drown in a melted dream. No longer a detective. Shit. That was quite refreshing. A bath is like a fleeting dream. Your sweat and past are washed away. You're born anew. Would you like to join me next time? No, thanks. Oh, if you're embarrassed about taking off your clothes, you can hop in with them on. I do that once every three times anyway. Um, who are you? Oh? If you want to know who I am, does that mean you wish to be friends with me? F friends I just wish to know who you are. Yes, I want to be your friend. How about you? Huh? I... I... I think you should avoid sketchy guys like that. You're just gonna end up joining a pyramid scheme or something. Oh, that's right. I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm sorry. It's been so long since I've built personal relationships that I don't remember the procedure. My name is Makoto Kagutsuchi. Nice to meet you. Uh, uh, Makoto, okay. Makoto Kagatsuchi. Uh, hi, I'm Yuma Cocohead. Hmm, Yuma. Master, maybe you should comment on his mask. He's probably waiting for you to do that. Um, about that mask. Oh, this? Interested? This is like a family heirloom to me. It has quite a history. It is said my family has demonic blood flowing through us. Normal people who gaze upon my face lose their sanity. That's why I must keep my face hidden, or I can't even hold a normal conversation. So what is this demonic blood, you might ask? I did my own research on the matter. 
It goes back 500 years. Back then, this land was comprised of over 200 kingdoms, great and small. Uh, um, I think I got it now, thanks. Oh, uh, are you sure? This guy's worse than I thought. Where are we anyway? Good question. Excuse me, where are we right now? Hmm? This is my home. It's the highest point in town. The top floor of Kanai Tower. The top floor of that tower? Are you serious? He's like Stark Level's rich! Hey, Shit. Let's take a selfie while we're here! Did she say Stark Le Like Tony Stark? Am I here? I assumed you were playing in the river. However, it's not good to get carried away. You were lying by the riverbank in tatters. One of my men just happened to find you. So I had you brought here. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if we just let you die. You're here from the lowest part of town to the highest. How does it feel to have traveled between heaven and hell? Um, where are the others? Was anyone else there besides me? There was no one else. I see. Chief Yako, Lara, Tetsuhiko, Fubuki, Vivia. I hope they're all okay. It's all my fault. The peacekeepers have it out for us because I've been butting into cases, pretending to be a detective. If I followed the chief's advice and stayed put at the agency, none of this would have ever happened. There you go, acting like some tragic heroine again. Blaming himself for everything. The only people who'd give you any sympathy for that shtick are the possessive types drawn to the naive. Just forget about it all and be positive. Say you have amnesia and reset your past. After losing my memories, the Nocturnal Detective Agency was the one place where I felt like I belonged. It's gone. I don't know what to do. Hey, you're lucky to be alive. Compared to the other dead detectives, that is. They're not dead. They have to be alive somewhere. Oh, we have lots of visitors today. You might want to hide for now, Yuma. Hide? Why? You don't want to go play in the river again, do you? What do you mean by that? He means it's. Master, I've got a bad feeling about this. It's those fucking weirdos. Hide. Just follow his lead. I, where am I hide. To hide. Where should I hide? Oh shit. Um. Sure. It's fucking Yomi. That's the director of the Peacekeepers, Yomi Hillsmile. 
It's rare to see you all the way up here. Maybe this means we'll get a bright and sunny day tomorrow. Well, a damn good day to you as well, masked man. Or is trick-or-treat the proper way to greet a mask lover like you? So what brings you here? If it's a treat you're looking for, I have some homemade cookies. Unfortunately, I only accept tricks. I heard a rumor that you're hiding a detective. That couldn't be true, could it? Detective? Whatever do you mean? <laughs> you think you can hide your expression behind a mask? You're as creepy as ever. If you weren't in this city, by now I'd be... <sighs> I'll be back. The peacekeepers are always watching you. Yuma, you can come out now. Who is this kid? That was the director of the Peacekeepers, wasn't it? You know him? Hmm. Our relationship isn't so shallow that he's a mere acquaintance, but I wouldn't call it a friendship either. If I must call it something, I'd say he's like a shadow. We all have our own inseparable shadows, right? Who are you? I'm just a man living at the highest point in town. Do you need to know more than that? Kinda. That doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> you sure are honest. I love this city more than anyone. And more than anyone, I worry for its future. That's why I feel so gloomy about it all. Like the sky, a cold rain falls within my heart. By the way, I hear that you're a detective. I didn't know they still existed in this town. I'm a trainee. There are other detectives much better than me. Somewhere out there. Naturally, this means you have some knowledge about this place. I suppose so, yes. Even as we speak, a disaster strikes Kanai Ward. You could say Amaterasu Corporation is responsible. For years now, the tragedies occurring in this city are the result of an upset of the power balance within Amaterasu. The power balance? The company has gotten too big. Each segment has grown increasingly independent and now lacks overall cohesion. In fighting. As a result, the power structure has been completely Basically. thrown off balance. Amidst it all, the peacekeepers took charge. So is this dude like the actual they CEO? They rules within the company and eliminated anyone who refused to obey. The corporation was on the brink of collapse, but the peacekeepers managed to regain order. And I'm sure you can easily imagine what happened after that, right? That order took hold over all of Kanai Ward. You're a sharp one, detective. They fly the banner of order and force laws only convenient to themselves on the people. Both Amaterasu Corporation and Kanai Ward belong to them now. They do as they please. They can overturn laws on a whim, which permitted bribes to be exchanged at a rampant pace. This is why the city continues to erode away. So much so that this gloomy rain cannot wash it clean. I thought the peacekeepers were like a police force, but they hold much more power than that. As their name suggests, in the beginning the peacekeepers were a single department that handled security. They changed and grew into the powerful organization they are today, because there was a need for it. After Kanai Ward's isolation, Amaterasu needed to become stronger and more ruthless to protect their secrets. Taking advantage of the corporation's supply routes, the peacekeepers began trading with the military industry. Wow, 
They sound like some dictatorship's army. Before anyone realized, they were the most powerful force around. I'm sure they saw everyone else as incompetent. Which led them to believe that those with the power should rule. The shadow that hangs over this city is none other than the threat of the peacekeepers. Their tyranny continues to this day. Damn. They will never stop, even after they've gained control over everything. So that's the situation the city is enduring. At this rate, Kanai Ward will continue to decay. More innocent civilians will fall victim to them. I like his masses' expressions. That's why I want to stop the peacekeepers on this reckless path of theirs. I do so as a citizen who loves Kanai Ward. I need the help of people like you. Like me? I mean detectives. He needs detectives? Something about this sounds fishy. What do you mean by that? In Kanai Ward, the only ones that can stand up to the peacekeepers are outsiders like yourself. That's why, in order to save this city, I need your cooperation. Detectives are the only ones who can save this place. That is what I believe. But what about you? Save this city? Chief Yako also asked the same thing. If their goals are the same... Hold it right there, Master! You're gonna agree just like that? But he's asking for my help as a detective. I have to respond. Jeez, think about it for a sec. The way he's talking, he probably works for Amaterasu. In other words, you're not sticking your neck out for an impossible crime here. It's just a spat between adults. What do you think you can do about it? But we should at least talk to him about it first. He's obviously taking advantage of you. Oh, you're so gullible. Listen, detectives need to suspect others all the time. Besides, can you really trust anybody in a mask like that? He's not normal. Everything feels so ominous about this. You're better off not associating with him. Trust me on this. It's rare for you to be so absolutely against something. I owe you a lot for saving my life, and it's true. I don't know him enough to be sure if he's trustworthy. Oh, this reminds me. Speaking of detectives, is number one in town as well? Huh? Number one? I mean the guy at the top of the World Detective Organization. Things would go much faster if he were here. <sighs> oh, you know about number one? Huh? Don't you? I've only heard of him recently. I don't know much about him. I see. Well, that's no surprise. He's a shut-in who rarely appears out in public. But if you get the chance to talk to him, please ask him to come visit soon. Uh, tell him his son is in trouble. Son? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm joking. Anyway, I've kept you here too long. If you're looking for your missing friends, you better move fast. That's right. I have to go look for everyone. I need to get going. Thank you for saving me. No problem. Don't worry about it. But please, consider cooperating with me. R right. Oh, also, I should ask you this while I'm here. Do you have any idea what Kanai Ward's ultimate secret could be? Or does the word homunculus sound familiar to you? <coughs> no, I have no idea. Sorry I couldn't be of help. He's such a liar. You saw him make that noise? He's like... <gasps> 
How did you know? Hmm. So that's my. Hmm. Your what? Is that it? I thought there would be more emotion involved. Your what? I'm confused. Are they gonna tell me that that the masked man is like Yuma, but like older or something? How tall the building is? Because he kind of has the same colored hair a little bit. Since he lives on the top level of this tower, Makoto Kagutsuchi. Who is he? How is he connected to Amaterasu Corporate? He brushed it off, but he's affiliated with them. Not to mention, he knew an awful lot about the internal workings of the corporation. He talked about saving the city, but is he on our side? Or could he be... Either way, you're better off not getting involved. Let sleeping gods lie, as they say. Are you sure you're one to say that? Oh, you're right! <laughs> anyway, I'm worried about Chief Yako. Let's go back to where the detective agency was at the riverbank. I wonder what happened to Fusshead and the others. They're fine. They must be. They gotta be around here somewhere. I hope. I, at the very least, the chief has to be alive. If anyone. And Halal would not let that kill her. There's no way. time too maybe he did something i don't think so he's a complete stranger Are you sure you don't need to hurry to the riverbank you might find fuzzhead's corpse and then some no that's not true don't say ominous stuff like that who was that and what why did they rub on this Me. <laughs> Who cares? It's not like you're gonna figure it out by standing around here thinking about it. Should you be worried about the bus head and the others? Th that's right. I have to get to the agency.
Not 100% if this was the right way or not. Okay, it was. It's terrible. The agency is completely blown to pieces. I thought I found a place I could call home. I don't smell any corpses. I thought there'd be some around here. Of course not! Everyone is still alive! Master detectives wouldn't die so easily. You say that, but didn't they all die on the Amaterasu Express? Th that's... Uh -huh. Huh? What the? Oh, man. Uh, hello? I just got. Oh, what? I'm just being kidnapped. What the fuck is happening? too much how many times are you gonna let yourself get knocked unconscious i i can't help it this city is so weird why does this keep happening to me who would do such a thing to you and for what reason could it be the peacekeepers look around it's so dirty here if it's the peacekeepers, they'd probably be sitting on reclining chairs with their feet up in a tidy room. What if it isn't the peacekeepers? Then who? We can worry about it later. First, we have to get out of here. I guess that's fair. Where am I? Anyway, I'd better find a way out of here. It won't open. Why do they even want... This is come on. There's another one, Master. Hmm? Aww. There's a vent. The floor and the walls don't seem fragile enough to break. And there's no way out through the ceiling either. Mm, looks like you're stuck in here. Going feeling gloomy about it, just enjoy it while you can. Woohoo! It's so fun! It's like we're frolicking through the sunlit grass in spring. It's none of that. It's hopeless. We're completely stuck. It's just like everything in my life right now. I'm trapped with no way out. Master looks so lonely right now. It's like he's given up on everything. Hey, can I give you a back tattoo that says my life is over? Sorry, but I'm not really in the mood for your antics right now. What's got you so down anyway? It's not like you had anything to lose in the first place. Besides me, that is. Aw, my life's been a mess ever since you started haunting me. Shinigami? What about those other detectives? What do you mean? You said you've haunted other detectives in the past. They all gave up their memories, right? Were they able to achieve their goals using the power you gave them? Uh, I don't really. 
really remember the past. I'm the kind who forgets what happened yesterday. Oh, but there is one detective I distinctly remember. He always liked to say this one thing. I want to eradicate all unsolved mysteries from this world and bring happiness to everyone. Huh? I want to make a world where no one weeps while imprisoned by unsolved mysteries. He said that with such sparkling eyes that I laughed out loud. <laughs> that still makes me laugh as if a single detective could do that. <sighs> imprisoned by unsolved mysteries. Like the watchmaker's son. Or Kurumi. If those cases remained unsolved, would they have suffered the same fate? So you didn't answer me. What about that detective? Was he able to bring happiness to everyone? Hmm? I don't know. Besides, I don't remember much. 